everyone today we're taking a look at two sum two which is the same problem as two sum just the regular except the input array is sorted um so we have a one index array of integers sorted in and it says non-decreasing but this just means increasing order and we want to find the two indices um the the two indices of numbers such that those two numbers add up to a specific target <clears throat> and you know that these numbers are not going to be duplicates and you're going to return their indices it also says that you should use constant extra space so your space is going to be constant. You're not going to add anything. Now you have an input of numbers in the example, two, seven, 11, 15, that you want to add up to nine. Um, you know that two and seven add up to nine. And because you know that these are one indexed and not zero indexed, uh, that means it's going to start at one and this next one is going to be two. Hence, uh, you're going to return one and two. But in reality for the array, it's just zero and one. Now to solve this, we're going to take a look at a very powerful algorithm called two pointer. And this is pretty fundamental and it'll show up a lot in later, uh, more difficult code questions. But two pointer, uh, it, it pretty much happens like so. So two, seven, 11, 15 with a target of nine. So what you're going to do is you're going to set two pointers. Um, as the title, as the algorithm suggests, you will set a left pointer equal to the very beginning. Um, so you'll set it to the very first index two, and then you'll set a right index equal to the very last index right. And what you'll do is you'll sum up these um, and you're going to keep doing this until they meet up in the middle. So while um, and in this case, because there can't be any duplicates, you're going to do while left is less than right. So that's going to be your condition. And then you're going to take the sum of these two and you're going to say, are they um, what is the sum? It's 17. And is this sum greater than the target? If yes, that means that uh, we are way too big. So if we were way too big, then we've got to move something to the left. We can't move left to the left because you know there's not much smaller that we can get. What we're going to do is we're going to move right to the left. So if the if the sum of left plus right is greater than target, then we're going to decrement right, um, and then then we'll have right uh, moving over to here. And once we shifted right over here, we have eleven. Now two plus eleven is thirteen. Now that's a little bit better. It's closer to nine, but we're still um, you know we're still bigger. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to decrement right one more time and set right equal to seven. And at this point, we have two and seven, which we know are equal to nine. Thus, we can return these two indices. But remember, because it's one array, we're going to have to add one to each of them. So two plus, um, so sorry, it's, it'll be zero plus one. So one and then one plus one, two. So this is this is the actual solution that we're going to return. Let's take a look at the complexity. So for the time complexity, um, let's think about what we're really doing. All we're doing is iterating through this while loop is kind of the only time that we have going the, the only thing that contains any sort of time that we have going on. And at the max, um, it's going to happen, you know, like, uh, n times it'll be linear. So O of n is going to be our time complexity and our space complexity as the question, you know, constraint has is constant. We're not creating any new arrays. All we're doing is having two pointers that iterate through this one array. So that's all we have, which means our time complexity is linear um, and our space complexity is a constant. And this is the optimized solution. So let's take a look at how this is going to look in the code. So the very first thing we're going to do is set a left um, index. There's this left pointer that is going to take a look at the very first index. Then we're going to set a right pointer that is going to take a look at the very last index, which is numbers.length minus one. Now that we have this, we can do our while loop while left is less than right. And in some cases you're going to do is less than equal to right. But in this case, because we don't want any duplicates, we have to have left is less than right. Then if numbers left or actually we'll, we'll let sum equal um, numbers left just to add a little bit more legibility equal to the sum of these two. And if sum is equal to the target, then we know we have our indices and we can return an array of left plus one, right plus one. Um, and just so you know, this uh, array that we're returning doesn't add to the space complexity. Um, and it, even even if it did, it would still be constant because it's always going to be two indices that we're returning. So this array is always going to be of length two, which makes it constant no matter how big the um, actual numbers array is. Our array that we're returning is always just going to be two. So it doesn't affect the space complexity. Otherwise, if the sum is less than the target, then we're going to increment left. And finally, our last condition is going to be um, when sum is greater than the target. And we can just do uh, count that in the else statement. And we're going to decrement right. And at this point, um, because we're guaranteed a solution, we know that uh, this while loop is never going to end before this return loop um, doesn't 
you know, before before this return loop works. So uh, because we're guaranteed a solution, we can just have a return loop, a return statement here without having a return statement outside this while loop. If we submit that, then this should work. And yep, that's it.